digital domination in real estate, what do you need? Most business owners know it's vital to have a formidable online presence to succeed. Of course, this is easier said than done. You need to consider many elements. These include a great social media profile, a website that's accessible, mobile friendly and responsive, and a recognizable and trusted brand. In addition, you need to be aware that you need an ad budget for both social and Google ads. The days of organic reach, that is not through paid advertising, are long gone. E-commerce businesses like eBay and Amazon have been around now for close to two decades. In comparison, the real estate industry's foray into digital media has been somewhat stilted. Now, three years after the first digital awards that I judged, Google and Facebook, as well as Instagram and LinkedIn to a lesser extent, are now firmly on the real estate industry's radar. Many real estate businesses are still reluctant, however, to venture too far from the comforts of traditional marketing methods. Instead, they're letting the portals dominate the online space. As geo-targeted data and local area marketing come of age, the real estate industry is realizing the value of digital, finally. Real estate business owners are gravitating towards digital marketing and social media. In particular, they're starting to spend money on advertising more and more. This move, however, is not without its challenges. The key is to understand what resources you need and what level of budget you need to allocate so that your digital dive is successful and delivers worthwhile targeted leads there's a number of challenges and obstacles still to overcome. One is committing to a budget. Often you need to make a significant upfront investment to get everything set up correctly. You'll also need to commit money to ongoing social media and online advertising. How? Look at your total revenue or the revenue level you'd like to reach and calculate your marketing as a percentage. Allocate around 8% for one year's worth of brand marketing. For example, if you're a 500K GCI agent, then you should expect to invest around $40,000 on your marketing. If you're a million dollar GCI agent, then you'd be looking at an 80K budget. I know it sounds a lot, but it's the best way to generate online leads. Another challenge, if you're in a bigger organization, is convincing the board, or sometimes yourself, that the investment will yield results. The challenge for many agents and principals is often the willingness to back and invest yourself. Understand that executed effectively, digital marketing will bring you a steady flow of leads. A strong online presence makes it easy for people researching you as part of that digital interview. To have peace of mind that you're a highly skilled professional who knows what you are doing. It's also important to understand that digital advertising should not exist in isolation. Digital can do most of the heavy lifting, but real estate is a people business. You still need to make sure that your digital marketing works in conjunction with traditional methods. Let's consider how you both capture and then convert your leads. Your digital marketing can only do so much. Once you have the leads, you need to make sure that you have systems in place to take advantage of them. How? Well, my team and I run lead generation campaigns on Facebook, Instagram, Google, and LinkedIn for our clients. However, we realized that after passing these warm leads onto the agency or the agent, they were not always being followed up in a timely fashion. A high quality lead will cost in the region of $20 to $40. So it's imperative to follow up. In fact, we now offer a telemarketing service so that we speak with people that have inquired by our client's ad so that a real human being has got in touch with them within a very short space of time of that person clicking on the ad. Then the agency or agent can follow up again thereafter. Another challenge is educating staff. It's easier when you can show the full value and importance of your collective digital footprint to agents. In particular, we need to convince the agents of the strength in numbers. What I mean by this is that by combining ad budgets and working together, 
versus individual agents going alone with digital marketing, you can have a greater impact collectively in your market. It can also be hard to keep abreast of the changes occurring to social media and the advertising platforms. Google in particular finds its algorithm continually. The goalposts are always moving next. How do you go about allocating resources? There's a number of ways to manage your digital marketing. Your costs will depend on the model you choose, which could be one of several. One option is to self-manage. You could be an agent, a property manager, managing your own account, or you might have an in-house admin staff member that can do it for you. If you're really lucky, you might have an in-house specialised creative team. Agencies with in-house teams usually have skilled marketers, including writers, designers and videographers. Another option is to outsource to a social media marketer. Under this model, you pay a freelancer to help with content creation. Often these people come from a PR background and are not always skilled in paid advertising. They focus solely on organic posts. This could result in many of your social media posts going unseen or seen by only a few people. Another option is to subscribe to a property advertising platform. This gives you the benefit of a systemized approach to digital property campaigns. Some systems generate more than 70 different types of creative for a property ad. They can also promote your client's properties to a range of preset audiences. There are more than a dozen players in what I call the ad tech space, but the challenge then becomes who to choose. I've actually done a big piece of research for you and we'll be sharing this this year. Then there's the option to engage a digital marketing coach. A coach helps you learn more about social media advertising. You'll learn how to map your database to social media channels, how to grow your own advertising audience across multiple platforms alongside run paid advertising campaigns. You may wish to go one step further and engage a digital marketing agency. Your marketing agency will provide multiple skilled creative resources, source the right professionals for the job on your behalf and devise a digital marketing strategy. They'll oversee an annual content program, manage a digital media advertising budget, and they'll basically do all the heavy lifting for you. This agency will target ad audiences in a far more sophisticated way. Finally, you could opt for a combination of those models that I've described. What you would do is use a property advertising platform in conjunction with a digital agency. You'd use the ad tech platform for systemized property campaigns, and then the agency helps with your brand strategy. This might include social media setup and training. Many real estate agencies now run additional content programs as well as paid digital marketing campaigns to promote their businesses. Digital is still a moving target. As a digital professional with more than 20 years of technical expertise, I understand it can feel near impossible to stay abreast of the continual changes and updates to social media and ad platforms. In my business, I see the number one challenge for real estate professionals is finding the time to create content, to schedule posts, to run ads. Without professional help, in my experience, most end up with inconsistent branding and failed campaigns. Most importantly, running your own digital media takes time away from what you do best, and that's property transactions.